So it seems like the season of graffiti adapters is ever growing here. I've got this F1 of 1 cap adapter for a mop system. So we've seen spray paint cap adapters to get really skinny lines. We've seen paint adapters to get you know male to female valves. But now F1 of 1 has put together this little homemade mop adapter for any style of kind of soda bottle or whatnot. So you don't need to actually use a standard mop body. Let's give this a try. Pretty straightforward design, we got a little washer in the bottom and it's supposed to just screw right on top of a soda can. Now I'm going to run through a couple tests to make sure this doesn't leak too bad before I get ink in there, but all together he designed this and hit me up actually on Instagram and we met up at an art show and uh, traded some of these off. We've got extras to give away as well at the end so be on the lookout for that. Let's get into it. Great note as well, each pack comes with a mixing ball and a little funnel to fill your stuff up. So two little uh, extra bonuses in there, I like that a lot. So for starters, the price point comes in at 10 bucks for the 25 millimeter, as well as the cap, screws on tight, keeps your ink safe, as well as the mixing ball and the funnel as well. So $10 all together, ships US only at this time. Maybe expand internationally with some more interest across the states. Let's make sure this doesn't leak uh, over the sink for starters. So I still got some of that leftover soda in there. Squeezing down on it, I don't see anything really coming out. That's a good sign. It's a lot of pressure. Oh, you can hear the soda wanting to fizz out of the cap right there. Looks to be holding up just perfect as is. Taking a close look at the threading, it seems pretty dry. Nothing down here on the later threads. Maybe a little bit seeping out there but uh, washer seems to be doing a good job. So I'm not gonna add any gasket tape around this as I want it to be kind of just, you know, stand in as if you're getting it off the shelf, but probably with that ink and, you know, a few tags in the way, we'll be able to see if it actually does have any issues or if it's as perfect right out of the box as we need it. You know, not that it would leak too much out of the nib any more than a normal mop, but that cap seems pretty tight in there and it seems pretty airtight. I'm squeezing down on the bottle pretty generously and nothing's coming out of there. I don't even hear any hissing, so it looks like we got a nice seal there. Time for some ink. So I've got some Montana street ink here, big bottle that they sent me a little while back. I'm gonna give the bottle a good old fill, maybe even water it down a little bit, just cause I'm just gonna be practicing on paper here. Now it's not quite designed for it, but we might even be able to use the bottle, so we'll try that out at the very end. Give it a juice and see how it works. So there's a slight hiccup here. I tried this once before where I added water to the Montana Colors street ink and it actually kind of coagulates. You can see all these kind of particles that got stuck and separated from the more liquidy stuff. So mistake on my part, we're just gonna be running the ink now using a little bit more than I expected, but much better to do that so it doesn't actually clog up the top of this. We'll get a little bit better results from the test, I'm sure. So that first test worked a million times better. A lot of ink use there. It was my first hesitation, but I'm glad we worked it out. I'm gonna do a little vertical test now, see how this works and get some drips in there. I'll try to be easy on the paint I'm using as this stuff is just flowing super fast. Working real flawlessly, I wasn't actually even squeezing the bottle at all. That was all just the natural pull of the paint coming out, so good note for Montana Colors as well. Seeing as the threading seemed pretty close between the two, I'm gonna throw it right on the bottle and see what happens. So 
So that turned out a little unruly. You can see it basically just made a huge puddle of paint on here. Uh, the pressure and the weight of the street ink bottle holding down was just forcing that lever on the, the mop top, you know, just actuating that valve super nicely. So it was dumping paint. Won't do another one, just fear of uh, using too much, but all together, it's possible it seems. All together, I'm definitely happy with the F101. I didn't see any leaking starting from you know this area up here. There was a little bit of bleed out here from when I originally juiced it and it dripped out. But you can see there's none really coming down onto this thread section. See the cap made contact up in there, but pretty self-contained for the top portion. Now there is more ink down here. The edge of the big refill bottle had a bunch of paint on it and whatnot. But like I did in the water test, I didn't see anything pulling out of this. If you are nervous, maybe throw a round of gasket tape or a little bit of duct tape in there and then put the threads on top of it. That'll give you, you know, a stronger seal so that you know it's a little bit harder to get on and off, but definitely gives you a better chance that no paint will ever drip out of this. But altogether, I didn't honestly see any. And you know, I hit 10 or 12 tags with a big black ink, so I'm sure we would have noticed a big drip down the edge of the bottle if that was the case but pretty clean top you can see the threads at the top definitely have some more paint on them the lower threads are, are pretty clean not much on that seal gasket either you know this got all shaken up and whatnot so not the cleanest at the end but definitely happy and this adds a little bit of level versatility if you don't want to buy a bunch of mop bodies this is going to be a great kind of addition to the arsenal Priced at $10, it's pretty fair, and you can obviously replace the nibs as that goes, so you're definitely working more for the cap and the kind of collared system here, but I was really happy with it, and I have you know a handful of these to give away. So what I'll basically do is be tossing these out in some sticker submission runs, so if you send in a pack for future sticker submissions, I'll be throwing these out in that way, so feel free to uh, send some stickers in in exchange for a little bit of a, a unique cap system. We have four of these to give away, so I'll cover any additional shipping costs that you know, might accrue to your pack so just send you know, your normal packs in and I'll handle the rest basically all those posters I just made with all the tags on it I'll have those put into packs and whatnot as well so it's a little extra incentive to get sending in for some sticker submissions I'll have F1 of one's Instagram page and actually Etsy store linked in the description down below if you want to give these a check out give some support to the new accessory coming out of a little DIY community real happy with the results and maybe we can get some alternate mop sizes in the future from F1 of one if you have any questions or comments about this or maybe if you've tried some of these out feel free to hit it in the comment section down below as well as leave your tags down there as I normally feed through the last review to fill in you know what tags I write in the next one so get a little hit up of your own name if you want to as well feel free to like the video if you enjoyed it or join the crew by subscribing I post weekly content focused on graffiti reviews tutorials a little bit of anything check some of my other stuff out it's gonna do it for me guys peace